I had a question on my channel about jack plugs and what all the bits are and what they're used for. Well, what's it all about? Well, I'm going to tell you. Now, the eponymous jack plug has been around for over 130 years. That's how good a design it is. Now, we've got various different things here. Now, we've got two sizes. We have three and a half millimeter, which is the familiar headphone jack that we might have. We've also got a headphone jack with another band on it. You can see that there's two bands on one and three on the other. And then we have these, which are 6.35 millimeters, the large jack plugs or quarter inch. And you can see that it's got either got one band or two bands here. You don't have a three band version of this as you do on this. So what's it all about then? Well, let's start off with this one. This is the small connector with two bands. This is a headphone connector just standard headphones. So what you actually get is on the tip here, that is your left channel of your headphone. And then the next band in is the right channel. And then the rest of the jack plug, which is called the sleeve, is the earth. Now, these are also known as TRS jacks, tip ring sleeve. Now, the same goes for the larger one that I've got here. They are essentially basically two versions of the same thing, tip ring sleeve or tip ring sleeve. So they are essentially the same. However, the uses, you usually use this one for headphones and this one, but this can also be used for something else or two other things. In fact, it can be used for a balanced line transmission. I'll explain that in a minute, or it can be used for an expression pedal. So if I've got something like this, which I'd connect to a keyboard, you can see there's input, output, and EXP, which is expression. So you plug your lead in there, and then the pedal controls the output level of your keyboard, or it can send MIDI data and all of that sort of thing as well. So you'd need a stereo jack plug for that. So, so far we've got headphones or the expression pedal. Now I mentioned the idea of a balanced line, or you know, what's balanced and unbalanced. Well, in short, this one is balanced. That one is unbalanced. Balanced, unbalanced. Now, the reason for that, if we look at these two jacks, wherever you have the sleeve here, that is ground. So you've got ground here and ground here. Now, the top of this one with the one band is the signal wire. So if you're plugging into a guitar, the output of the pickup appears on this one. And that's what plugs into your amplifier and then amplifies the sound. This is always the ground or earth. With this one, you have two signals. You have a signal here and a signal here, and then the sleeve. Now these two signals are essentially exactly the same signal. So let's say I'm speaking at the moment, the microphone is essentially a three pin XLR. So it's synonymous with this really. So you have a signal here, exactly the same signal here, but exactly in reverse. So instead of your speaker coming out and going back in, it's going in and out. So you have a wave that does this and a wave that does that in exactly, exactly the opposite form. You think, well, what good's that? Because we all know at school that plus one and minus one, if you combine those, you get zero, you get nothing. So what's the point then? Well, what happens is that when the two signals reach the destination, whether it be a mixing desk, an amplifier or anything else, one of these signals is then turned upside down. So instead of this and this, we get that and another one of those, which add together to make a stronger signal. So why do that then? Why don't you just send the single line? Just that one. What's the point of sending two things? Well, what happens is that any interference that comes, uh, this could be lighting, it could be mains, it could be any electromagnetic interference that gets into this cable here, will appear exactly the same on both of the connectors. So you'll get a on one and on another. You'll get exactly the same thing on these two. But as we remember, when we get to the 
input, whether it be your mixing desk or your amplifier, it turns one of those signals upside down. So you end up with that and that. As we know from school, plus, mine, plus and a minus combine to make zero. So what it does is it actually preserves the original signal because it was upside down in the first place and gets rid of the interference. That's how it works. That's how a balanced line works. Now, you do find on some mixing desks, it'll label up the, the jack input. It'll say, bal unbal, balanced or unbalanced. Actually, what it can do is it can cope with either an unbalanced signal or a balanced signal. Well, that is true of all balanced lines. You can output something from a balanced line and turn it into an unbalanced one and vice versa. You can actually um, plug an unbalanced something into a balanced line and it will convert it the other end. Now, what happens actually, if you look at these two jack plugs, you can see that the, the extra band on here is exactly aligned with the ground here. So all you're doing when you're plugging in unbalanced to balanced and vice versa is you're simply shorting out one of your signal wires. It doesn't do any damage to the equipment because the equipment will know how to cope with it. Actually, it just says, oh, okay, well, you can just have that one then. So when you are soldering up an XLR connector, for example, now this is important as well. When you're wiring up an XLR and the XLR is one of these connectors here. I mean, you can see in the end of the mic, you've got the XLR, the three pins here versus the three things on here. So when you wire up something like this to this, which you wouldn't really do for a microphone, but what you have is you have pin one. The, the pins are actually labeled. They're molded onto the plastic inside the XLR connector. And what you have is you have pins one, two, and three. That equates to pin one, which is always ground. And then two and three can be actually switched between here. Hmm. The American standard says that pin two is this one and pin three is that one. Whereas in Europe, it's the other way around. Kind of doesn't really matter as long as it's the same, especially if you're sending two channels, for example. Now, just going back to the uh, the headphone connector, as I said, this one, the little stereo one, isn't really used for balance line uh, signals at all. So you can only use a jack plug like this for a balance line or headphones. You can't use them for both. You can't send stereo balance. There's not really any such thing on one cable. This one here, this is the one with an extra band. You can see that there's another band halfway down what was the sleeve on the other one. So we have something where you can see that there's an extra band halfway down this one. Now this is what is used on uh, modern headphone systems where you have a microphone built into your headphones. So what you actually have now is on the tip here, that's your left channel. The right channel is the next band down. The next band down from that is actually the microphone. So you're sending microphone and speaker signals or headphone signals down the same cable. It's not really of any professional use. And the only trouble is with this, and I've made a video about this, how do you convert um, if you're using a pair of headphones with your iOS device, for example, how do you stop it from using the microphone in here, which is by default what it will do if you plug this in. Well, you need a pair of headphones that only has the two bands, like I've just shown here. You need the headphones with just that. You can make a cable up, which has a, a female stereo socket, so you can still use your headphones with this sort of thing. And I've described that in another video, which uh, you can see in the link box below. So I hope that provides some sort of explanation about uh, jack plugs and what they do.